everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Let's Get Lux. I'm so happy that you could be here with me today. So today I am continuing my fascination with Louis Vuitton. Of course, maybe obsession would be a better word for it, but I'm really focused today on the Louis Vuitton pieces that were recently discontinued. My interest in this topic stems from the fact that I spent months researching what my luxury handbag collection would look like. And the next piece that is on my hit list has just been discontinued by Louis Vuitton and I am not happy. So that got me thinking, are there other items that have recently been discontinued that should have been on my wish list, that I should have been paying attention to, and that I should be trying to find now before they're completely gone? The reason why I wanted to get to this information and get you this information as quickly as possible is because sometimes when Louis Vuitton discontinues an item, the item is still floating around a couple stores and you can track down and get kind of that remaining inventory if you're interested in it. The second reason is because I do feel like when something is recently discontinued, even though it does go up a little bit in price on the preload market, I feel like I'm more likely to find a piece that is in really good, excellent, like new condition on the preload market than if I waited a few years, I feel like then I'd be more likely to find things that are more in the gently or not so gently used condition. So, and here's what I'm going to do in this video. First, I'm going to take you through the recently discontinued items by Louis Vuitton and also if and where you might be able to find them. Second, I'm going to go through some of the items that there have been rumors swirling around that they're going to be discontinued. I'll let you know what I learned through this process about whether or not they will be discontinued. And lastly, I'm going to remind you about some of the information that I think we all should be keeping in mind as we determine what our next purchases should be from Louis Vuitton. So before I get to the good stuff, I do have a question for you. Do you care? Like, is this information interesting to you? If it is, I would be more likely to track it on a regular basis. Please comment in the comment section below, yay or nay. I was focused on this now because one of the pieces I wanted was discontinued. I don't know how much I'll keep track of this in the future if it's not something that you're interested in as well. Second, if there's anything I missed, if you know of a discontinued item that I did not mention here, please comment in the comment section below. Again, this is not a comprehensive list. This is just kind of what I could find over time, but I'm sure that I missed something. And it would be great for other viewers if they could see in the comment section what I might have missed. I'm also going to be keeping a list on my blog and I will definitely be adding anything that you tell me onto that list. So let's get into the details. Some of these I think you have already heard about because when they were discontinued it made a big splash and you heard about it on YouTube and on the purse blog and all these different areas. But I wanna mention them anyway just for the sake of being comprehensive. So first, the Eva Clutch. The Eva Clutch was really popular for a long time so I think this took people a little bit by surprise. It came in the Damier Aben, the Monogram, and the Damier Azur print and it really was just such a cute clutch. The first time I heard that this was going to be discontinued was actually when I was in a Louis Vuitton store and the essay mentioned that it was going to be discontinued but that it was really considered to be replaced by the favorite and by the Pochette Felicie. And so I think the sense was that there were other options for people even though they were discontinuing the Eva clutch. The good news for those of you who are still interested in purchasing that piece, there are a lot of options on the pre-love market. I can't say anything about whether or not you know it's a fair price or not, um, but there are some that are somewhat reasonable and I'm linking everything down below so you can check it out for yourself. But I've seen each of the prints available on the pre-love market, so I think that's a good sign if you want that. The next one I wanna mention is the one that was on my wish list. It was the Pochette Accessoire NM in the Dummy Event print. It is still available in the monogram print and the Damier Azor print. So it has been hard to get online, but actually one of my subscribers who was so kind found the monogram version of it at a store in Florida. So they are still available in store. You just might have to search around a little bit for them. But as of right now, they are not discontinued. They're just a little bit hard to find. The next one I want to mention is the Mabulon, which was a crossbody handbag in the monogram canvas print. It had a strap that was adjustable and I think it had an exterior pocket. So for those of you who are interested in a monogram crossbody, you can either find it on the pre love market or you can consider another option such as the, the monogram pochette Matisse, which also is a monogram canvas crossbody with an adjustable strap and an exterior pocket. The next items actually surprised me a little bit. I'm not really sure why, but I was surprised to see these gone. The Palace Chain and the Palace Shopper are both discontinued. There are other Palace items that are still available on the Louis Vuitton website, so they haven't completely done away with that line, but the Shopper and the Chain are discontinued. And I actually really liked both of those bags. In the future, if I want them, I will not be looking on the Louis Vuitton website, but on the pre love market. The next one I wanna mention is the Odeon, which has been discontinued. Similarly, the Trouville, 
I'm not sure about the timing of the Trueville, um, but it is gone in the monogram, and of course it's also gone in the Takashi Murakami collection, which is actually the collection I prefer in this particular bag. Those are all available on the pre-loved market, um, but they are no longer available from Louis Vuitton. The Samore has also disappeared from the Louis Vuitton website. The Sac Plat has disappeared as well in the canvas print. It's still available in the leather. And by still available, I mean that you can't necessarily go to the website and order it right now. It might be out of stock on the website, but it is not discontinued. It's still going to be available, even if they're still stocking up. The Mazarin has also been discontinued. And then the next one actually surprised me. The Delightful in all sizes has been discontinued. The Delightful MM is still appearing on the Louis Vuitton website in the U.S., but the entire line really has been discontinued and has been replaced by the Graceful. The next item I want to mention is actually a small leather good. It's the Curious Wallet in both the compact size and the regular size. I'm actually disappointed about this one. I, I liked this wallet a lot. It's in the emprunt leather. You know, I'm disappointed, but that being said, there are a lot of options that still exist for emprunt leather wallets at Louis Vuitton, including the Sarah, the Josephine, the Victorine, and the Ariane. So if you're interested in an emprunt leather wallet from Louis Vuitton, you'll have no trouble finding them. And then lastly, the ones that are definitely discontinued, this one, I'm actually not sure if the bag itself is discontinued or if it's just that they are transitioning this bag into a different season. But the Pont Neuf, which is a gorgeous emprunt leather bag, I actually love it. It comes in two sizes and it is beautiful. I know that it's going to be discontinued in the current colors. I don't know if it's gonna be discontinued completely. The MM comes in this gorgeous red color and I love it. If I could afford it, I would buy it right now. But it is definitely discontinued. That being said, this is an example of something that has been discontinued but still is in store. There are a couple, at least a couple, that are still out there in the US. I think one's in New York and one's in the Massachusetts, maybe Boston area. So if this is a bag that you like and you would want to purchase before it goes away forever, you might want to consider calling Louis Vuitton Client Services or some of the stores around you to see if you can get your hands on it, at least before this color is gone and maybe before the bag is gone itself. I'm now going to transition into telling you about the bags that I had heard were going to be discontinued, but from my research, it looks like they're not going to be. So the first one I know you've heard about a million times, the favorite MM and PM. It sounds like that one, even though there were rumors and even though it was considered to be on the chopping block, it actually is not going to be discontinued as of now. The toiletry pouches 15, 19, and 26 were referred to as part of Louis Vuitton's permanent collection. They are hard to find at the moment because they are so popular, but my understanding is that they are not going to be discontinued. The Deauville, I heard, was going to be discontinued. As of right now, it is not on the list of items that have been abandoned by Louis Vuitton. These small, medium, and large agendas have also been a little bit hard to get your hands on in the canvas print, but I have been reassured that those are not on the chopping block. In fact, the small one in Damier Eben is available right now if you'd like to purchase that one. But the others, particularly in the monogram print, are going to be in stock again in the next several weeks. Now there's a big caveat I have to give you about things that are in stock and are not discontinued. There has been talk of it that the current CEO wants to phase out all of the entry level pieces. So we're talking about the Pachette Accessoire type pieces. Um, I even view the Speedy as an entry level type piece because it's more affordable than the other pieces that Louis Vuitton offers. Um, I don't know if they would ever phase out the Speedy just because it's such an iconic piece for Louis Vuitton. But there is a sense that the CEO might be phasing out the entry level pieces. So I am trying to decide what to do with that information. Maybe I'll be getting the mini pochette accessoire and the pochette accessoire this year just in case it gets phased out. You know, I'm not really sure. The other thing I wanted to mention is because they are doing a major push towards leather in Louis Vuitton as opposed to canvas, they are likely to be producing the canvas in more limited quantities. So that means that when we're on the website and we are ready to make that big purchase, for our Louis Vuitton canvas piece, it's more likely that we'll see call for availability than add to bag. That might be overstating it a little bit, but I did just wanna mention that because I think it's information that you should have. So I take all this information with a grain of salt, of course. I don't know the CEO. He hasn't told me this information personally, but this is information that I'm hearing on a regular basis from a number of different sources. So I'm very disappointed about the direction because what brought me to Louis Vuitton in the first place was the canvas and the thought that it's not gonna be available as readily in the future is a little bit disappointing to me. I'd be curious to know if you think that's an overreaction, if you're happy with the direction that it's going in. Um, you know, I'm just curious to know what your thoughts are on that. So that's all the information I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below about 
what you think about this leather versus canvas thing. If there are any pieces that you know were discontinued that I missed, and whether you think that this information is useful or completely useless, <laughs> that would be really helpful to me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Have a great week.